Hello Marvel Heroes fans, my name is Wilfred and welcome to my channel. If you find this guide useful, do check out the link at the description of the video. More guides for you to watch and ask them when Rocket Raccoon getting kind of like uh, reviewed or updated and so on. I'll put down the description, the, some of these changes and so on. Uh, another new link if there's a new video for Rocket Raccoon. Okay, so a lot of you probably know by now that my wife has been a big fan of Rocket Raccoon and she only played one hero in this game, just one, she just loved one. So I, um, I know a lot of you requested me to do other heroes and so on and so forth, but I got to do this one for my wife. So please understand and I hope you understand as well. Um, now, I would like to sell this uh, idea with you on Rocket Raccoon. You can build him in many ways, as a gun hero, as a summoner, and whatnot, whatnot. So this build is very much a balanced build, uh, meaning that it has sufficient amount of summoners inside, summons inside, to keep you interested in the summoner kind of gameplay. But it also has a you know sufficient amount of guns for you to play with your guns, uh, especially especially the big fucking gun. Uh, also, rather nice on the defensive side, uh, there are stealth and there is a nice defensive shield as well. So it's a very all-rounded kind of like a build. In the event whereby you say, well, you know, I want more DPS or I want to play a little bit more summoner, what I'll do in this video, I'll share with you um, my analysis on the power without gear, uh, which are the power to pick. I'll verbalize it first just in case some of you would doze off during mathematics sessions. And after, after that, I'll do a little bit of gameplay, uh, just to show you how this build is like in reality. And at the end of the video, I'll share with you the mathematics behind it, just in case you'd like to be convinced by the number rather than my words. All right, so uh, that would be the um, how this video is going to uh, go. And as always, if any question, you do drop me a note below. I'll, more, I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Now onto the power, traits, and talents of Rocket Raccoon. But before I go there, let me just give you a very short intro of how summoner stats work in this game. Uh, by and large, from a DPS perspective, only the crit hit chance and brutal chance go into your pet. Uh, the rest of it doesn't. So you know whatever flat damage you have, crit damage rating you have, it's just for the hero. Uh, for the pet wise, you know that that you can't really gear as of now, as of today, you can't really gear for his like um, uh, you know crit damage or brutal damage. So it is rather flat in the sense. Uh, so what they do is that usually you can you can build up some ally damage to high, so it kind of compensate the whole kind of you know um, graph or whatnot to it. So to give the the pets more damage output. Interestingly, nowadays I see some stats that I haven't seen before, like after the rework, there's something called the Summon Ally Crit Hit Rating. Uh, so it's also, I think they are slowly introducing uh, stats to the, to the pet, to gear speci specifically to the pet, uh, which it could be good as well. So just do look out for all these like, nuances when you try to build your summoner, uh, build your pet, only the crit and brutal go to the pet. Now, uh, from the art type perspective, he's a summon ally damage on the trait, uh, archetype is tactician. So what it really means is that if you want to play him as a pure gun hero, then you lose that 25% uh, summon ally damage. It could mean quite a fair bit uh, because, you know, uh, trait is something that you should pay attention to when you gear, when you build your heroes, because you can take advantage of that and have a, have a head start on that. Um, does it mean that you can't play guns hero? No, not that, it doesn't mean that way, but it's just something that you'd be aware of uh, when it comes to his trait. From the art type perspective, tactician, meaning that any energy or intelligence attribute you have is 4% on his power, not the pet one, on his power. All right. So uh, then he has he, he now uses ammo and, um, and shield. So the, in the past, Rocket Raccoon always run into a spirit issue. You have to have the orbs to regenerate the spirit. And during a long fight like a raid, is tremendously difficult to get off. So Rocket Raccoon may need to switch to basic power back in the past. Now it's no longer is the case. Uh, there are various ways to um, to replenish your ammo, and I'll talk a little bit about that. But that's welcoming because it's like unlimited ammo in a sense. So you don't have to worry about spirit anymore. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the third one is that he's a deflect dodge hero. Just watch out for his health because it could be a little bit fragile. But having said that, because he has so many pets around, if you play him as a summoner, chances are the mobs are not hitting the hero. So you are pretty safe as a, as a summoner. 
And he is the original summoner, by the way. The very first one came out from the uh, from the game back in 2013. All right. Now, uh, with that said, let's take a look at all's power here, and I'm going to share with you my findings on which are the power to look out for in what way. All right. So now, basic power I'm not going to talk about. It's not going to be exciting. So the other one is the M78 Plasma Launcher. It's the one that gives you the damage over time, uh, just like this. You can maintain two area. It is rather nice. Now, um. Are there any other better layer you could use for your Rocket Raccoon? This build is very much for solo or cosmic patrol kind of like a you know environment whereby there are quite a lot of mobs around. If you would like to go into raid and say that I want to maintain my gear and I still want to play as a summoner, but I do not want to uh, I want to have higher damage, then I would propose the uh, the heavy Gauss rival is one of the you know, very nice cooldown power. It has a very high damage as well. Very high, very good layer. And not only that, it will buff your gun power because your main spender is going to be a gun power. So, um, everyday use M78 uh, Plasma Launcher. Um, if you are going to raid Heavy Gauss Rival, would be my recommendation. As for the main spender, you have a couple of options here. You can either go for a big flocking gun or the photo, photon minigun. Now I'm not going to go too much on the photon minigun because it is the DPS as I'll show you in the spreadsheet later is pretty obscenely high. I don't even know whether it's even possible or not. You know, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about how great Rocket Raccoon is. I, I don't know. I for me when I see something like that, I probably want to avoid a little bit because I don't want to fall in love with something that is too powerful. But it's up to you. On a raid kind of like a setup, I will probably recommend, I will recommend you take a minigun because forget about the outliners here. It, the right design is to go for single target when doing raid. So photo minigun for raid, but for everyday use, man, I mean, it has got to be a big flocking gun. This is Rocket Raccoon. There's no other way has got to be a big fucking gun, all right? Uh, so that said, you know, like I said, okay, so I hope you know what, what which one to use. Uh, heavy Plasma Rifle is also another option there. Um, it is kind of interesting because it has a higher crit, kind of like a buff to it. And with the talent, you can further augment this crit and brutal. So if you are if you are not into big fucking gun, and if you are at the end game uh, with a uh, light, nice kind of high crit and brutal, uh, supported by the crit damage rating, then heavy plasma rifle may outperform big fucking gun. So something to think about um, for your picking. So I just share all these numbers with you later. But uh, that's how I rationalize which three of them. So I mean. You know, this one is very versatile. You can use it for any environment, any area thing. It'll just burn everything. If you want to get a little bit serious but not committed to a pure range kind of like um, power, then the heavier plasma rifle would be useful for you at towards the end game. All right? uh, you can use a laser drill, burrow. This is still augmented by talent or uh, I think shoot and run is another one. So I prefer this one because it give me a stealth option. The other one is you shoot and run, you deal DPS while you, you reload your, your ammo. So this is a very good power because not only does it stealth, not only does it like move away, break crowd control effect, it also replenish 100% of your plasma ammo. So it, your rocket raccoon would never ever run out of ammo because he will just keep moving around and looking at things around and be a tactician. That's how I play rocket raccoon. Uh, H7 Fleet Slayer was the old ultimate and it remained as a very beautiful need, you know, uh, represented power and I, uh, with the talent you can augment its cooldown as well as the maximum charges as well. I would say use this as a burst damage because, you know, in, in, in an environment whereby you can see a pack of elite, it's good to just dump a whole bunch of burst damage on them and burn them off bosses as well because bosses tend to move a lot. Uh, so as when you see a boss kind of like stationary for a little bit, then you can dump all the um, the 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 lock, you know the the one there. It's, it's very satisfying, you know. It it's just that you have to you have to aim it a little bit. Like you have to train your aiming. It, it doesn't necessarily hit the thing that you want to hit, but satisfying. All right. So I hope with that said, uh, the gun's power is being covered. Now on to the tactical genius, uh, which is his uh, summon power mostly. Uh, you have my fan, my friend Groot. Um, you could so remember if you play him as a summoner, always 
use him on cooldown. Every 10 seconds, you can have a range of branches, which he does something like this. Like this one here. You see the thing he rolled? That is a huge damage. Do not ignore them. Do not think that it is only to summon Groot. But however, if you don't want to use him as like, um, like, like that, then you can actually augment it with a lot of things. You can augment it into uh, a war path, right? So with him as a war path, you can actually ride onto him and do uh, a power like this one, which is also very satisfying, but I'm not that into the uh, animation. And I really need him to be, uh, to be a tank for Rocket Raccoons, but you know, there's options there. Or you can passively coin Groot as well using this uh, first tier of talent to say that uh, I want to apply, you know, um, you, you can't summon Groot, but you know, it, it will be summoned while you're using power kind of thing. So uh, it's kind of interesting as well, something to take note, but I, for me, this one is fantastic. I'm Groot. It applies strengthen as well, which is a buff on damage and crit hit rating. Multiplier. Man, I mean, this is crit hit rating multiplier, by the way. Um, so this... This is good stuff. Uh, I am Groot is very, very strong. Again, it's a little bit off the chart, but uh, who knows? Maybe it is being designed that way. Because if you think about it, as a summoner right now, um, unlike other attributes that can scale to infinity, a summoner only have a cap to it uh, for the summon and damage. So you can't really go beyond a certain point, even if you put a lot of money and time into, into this game to get X XP. So maybe they want to build him build summoners as an early bloomer. That's my speculation. I don't know, mate. It's just my thought. If you want to have more dash in Rocket Raccoon, I don't think, I don't suppose you need to. You can have another one. So you can, have, you know, can dash around and can have like stealth around as well. Um, Plasma turret remain as his bread and butter, as the, um, as, as his summoner build. It's just that you need to constantly shift it across. Uh, he has a, five second cooldown so if you kill things a little bit too fast don't dump too many blaster at one shot um and move it across to you know as as you as you as you move along the terminal or the content uh that would be my advice uh it has a cooldown of about half a half a minute so it will disappear unfortunately in this game it doesn't have a decent ui like path of exile that tell you when how long the uh the tour is going to expire so you can't count this one um yeah so you can i mean another thing about a tour is that uh, you you have to understand the range um it, it's only around this range so if you want to deploy something further then you need to like you know um so you don't have to walk around uh but you have to understand the range and you can put the uh suppression as well which is what i do here all right so it build a nice uh, triangle uh if things are linked up nicely I'm using the triangle because I want it to prompt you when I should reapply the, uh, the, the blaster. All right, so that's, that's why I do the triangle. But uh, in, order to do, in order to do this triangle, you notice that you have to be quite near to the boss because I presume the boss will be somewhere here or there, right, to, to build this triangle. So it, you may require a little bit of, uh, you know, moving around and stealthing as well. But it is, it is important to know that uh, when to reapply, when the link disappear. So I use it as my prompt to reapply my, my six turret. Now I have six turrets there, and it's always up and hot. All right, so that is a good tip, I hope. Um, time Warp turret is another summon. It's also pretty high damage. You can augment it with your talents as well. But my thinking is that if I have too many turrets, it becomes quite a drag because maintaining turret is never an easy affair. To me. So see now I can reapply it. You see, that's the beauty of the uh, of the of the lightning wall, right? So I would say if you really want to go full summoner and forget about gun, then you can forget about the uh, the M seventy eight plasma launcher. But then it's just too many turrets for me to manage. That's my suggestion, my thought. All right. Um, the another way to play Rocket Raccoon, of course, is via the Grunai. There are two Grunai. One is Stun Grunai. The other one is the Gravity Mine. Now, Gravity Mine apply 10% vulnerability. I would love to have it, but I don't know why this game always have this vulnerability thingy that, like, you know, you must have. But I don't, I feel that if I have this one, I'll lose one important layer. Uh, I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, however, if you want to play with the mines as well as the Grunai, you could. There's a talent to give them a cooldown power. And together with this like uh, insignificant signature right now, which I'm not complaining because I really do not have any space, any more space for anything else 
forget about signature, you know. But uh, what this one does is that, um, you know, it, I believe that you could reset cooldown last time. I um, yeah, So it's one of those things that you could use it to augment the, uh, I think this, I can't remember this. Uh, yeah, it kind of bothered me a little bit because the last time I saw this, it's meant to be resetting cooldown for, for everything that you have, um, but they may have changed it just a bit. But in any case, I mean, you know, this, this tool could be a good layer to use if you do not want to play a, you know, other gun stuff or don't want to have too many summons, or you want to just have uh, Groot as a tank, but the rest of it are gun and Groot Knight. You can play that so as well. All right? So now, hope that gives you a little bit of ideas on how to sort of like build your hero, even if you do not like what I have here. Now, why do I have the shield uh, booster here? Do I need it? Probably not, um, but if I know that every 15 seconds I could like, you know, regenerate my shield to full, I mean, I don't mind that as well, because sometimes Rocket Raccoon does a hit, although, I, yes, I could kind of like, um, you know, go stealth, but I would like to be a little bit protected as well. It's just my playstyle, but if you want to replace it with another layer, feel free to do so, all right? So now let's talk about the... Uh, the Talent itself, I, I covered Groot. The next one is that uh, Lightning Wall. So you've seen it, how the how the turret links together. Those are Lightning Wall. One, two, three. All right, so these are Lightning Wall, the, the link. Very, ni very nicely visual. Uh, or you can even further buff your minigun. This is fantastic. Um, so in a raid environment, if you say that, well, you know, you want to further buff it, you could. But I think, you know, I think I think just stay with what you have as a summoner because your, your gun power is not going to be very much buffed. Then you can, you can have the, ah, this is the one. So the Hard Drawn Enforcer. I was wondering, where was the thing? I, read, I remember I read it somewhere. Is that uh, on itself, the signature, the signature doesn't really do much. But the potency of the signature, if you build uh, with a lot of cooldown power, is when you could use this to, to set, reset the cooldown of your power. And because you have two charges as well, potentially you have a lot of back-to-back -back cooldown, kind of like a spammer. I have a very nice burst power if so you wish to. So a lot of people complain about signature as being crap. I think it's rather good design though. Don't you think so? I mean, in a way that this is rather good for the non-summoner, for this signature. And for the summoner, you can actually use this as signature as well. So they don't color, this, color it as such, but I actually see it that way. Uh, so do let me know how you feel about it, but I think it's rather good design that uh, because resetting cooldown doesn't mean anything for, for summoner and having this in another power here doesn't do much for summoner either. All right. Okay, so the third tier is the, uh, you can upgrade the time uh, delayer, uh, which is the, this one here. So in the event whereby you say, well, you know, I want to, I want to uh, play a full summon. I, I want to just play with tour. You, you, yes, you can. So you could actually use this talent and then you replace one of these, like you don't do a plasma launcher, but use this one instead. That could be one option. A laser drill is one that is very nice. Uh, it have your stealth. And the last one is the, uh, you can upgrade your, your combat shield. I'd rather have a stealth on demand. Uh, I really, really like this power. Otherwise it becomes shoot and, uh, shoot and run, which is this power here. It does damage and then command group to attack a target and you restore the, uh, the, the kind of uh, power. I mean, this is also quite a nice, nice kind of like run, you know, kind of like power as well. So, you know, if you want to do a suit and run kind of scenario, you could actually do a upgrade shield or do a better time warp to it. Because in a raid environment, you may or may not need to stealth anyway, because the boss kind of flat target on everybody, it doesn't really matter, right? So, Okay, so that is for me as a solo, uh, as a raid, you can build this one or that one. Probably this one, I presume, because it helps you with the health as well. And invulnerable for one second, which is rather useful for a harder raid. All right, it's a lot of knowledge there. All right, uh, the, after that, the upgraded plasma rival um, is the one that you could upgrade your plasma, uh, your blaster turret as well as a heavy bla plasma rifle, which is the one that I talk about here. So if you like to use this one instead of big flocking gun as a main spender, you probably won't want to do this one. The buff to plasma turret is not that much though, but you see a lot of mini kind of like, um, uh, mini kind of, but well, we can't see it here right now, but uh, you see a lot of mini kind of um, nuclear bombs here and there, really rather nice on its own. But uh, in the event where you say you don't want this one, uh, then you can have big flying gun, which is like 25% more damage, and it costs lesser ammo. You can you can you can flock it further, longer, and you can like you know this is wonderful. I love it. 
So I would highly recommend this one for solo. And the third one is that, like I said, if you want to play with Brunei and the, uh, and the Gravity Mind, you can actually buff them quite significantly. And with that, this two power onto this, uh, you know, if you're building a gun kind of hero, it makes sense, right? Because this is a cooldown power, this is a cooldown power, this is a cooldown power, then what, whatever is also a cooldown power. Then, you know, you have, you have a signature to reset the cooldown. So that also could be a build option. Beautiful. The last tier is that... Um, um, oh, my apologies. Okay, so this is the one that uh, Plasma Turret fired the, uh, the missile, which is a mini nuclear thingy. Uh, you can see a mini... Let's see this one. You see? Mini nuclear. So this is the one that does it. The other one is just to, um, to, to hit slower but, uh, but harder. I work on a number. It doesn't really change a lot of things. Then the... Uh, or you say that, you know, or you can have the... The uh, launcher, the buff, the launcher. So if you don't do a plasma a guns build, then you probably have the upgraded plasma kind of like a uh, launcher and become a cooldown power. Uh, so again, so it become like one cooldown, two cooldown, three, four cooldown already, five cooldown. So yeah, you can use this to reset. Very fun. And the last one is that uh, you can also further buff, buff your blaster turret. And, uh, you know, ha heavy gauss as well as the, uh, you know, you can summon one more blaster. So I work out a number. I actually enjoy this one much better because it has a shorter cooldown. It gives me a lot of burst, a lot of burst, which is good and fun. All right. So I hope you kind of enjoy. It's a little bit long, but, you know, when it comes to Rocket Raccoon, I'm really, really passionate about it. So that is the part on the power. Let's jump into the Cosmic Terminal. This is uh, Cosmic Curse with the Rocket Raccoon in a summoner build. So um, in this video, just pay attention to a little bit on the gameplay itself. Uh, I'll be using the turret like blaster and uh, suppression, you know, one, one each. So I'll be forming a triangle uh, just like this one. Then you probably can see, it, you know, you can see in just a bit that you got the triangle there so that I know when to reapply the turret itself. As for the Groot, uh, he is a cooldown power. So just make sure that, um, you know, every 10 seconds you call him up again to, to do a uh, Rain of branches is one of the really huge kind of damage. As you can see the, the, the damage kind of like a range there is pretty big. And I'll be using the M78 Plasma Launcher as well. Uh, this one is uh, damage over time. I can maintain up to two areas. And as and when uh, I, I need some kind of burst, I'll use the uh, H7 Fleet Slayer. You can't miss it. It's like a nuclear bomb by itself. Uh, whenever I get hit, this shield will be depleted and I'll stealth out using the drill and after that I'll reapply the shield. So basically that is uh, that's how I'll roll with the uh, rocket raccoon. So you know in, in a terminal like this usually I'll just like push lines and the um, and, you know, some of these can just burn it away. Uh, I can call the group as well and the uh, I can bomb a few things here and there and uh, sooner or later they realize uh, I'm the one who caused all the trouble and the, uh, I'm just going to like uh, just push line here, push line here, like I said. All right. So whenever I depleter, you can see all the shield that is gone. All right. So that is basically what what uh, how how to play raccoon. It's rather rather relaxing. Um, it's a very ta tactician kind of like a gameplay. You make sure that your turrets are being um, you know laid out nicely. Uh, it's a little bit slow because of the how the whole thing roll. Um, you know, it, it's just that the whole charge charge thing kind of like make, make him a little bit um, and you know it, you know previously you could dash in and out and lay your turret rather fast now it's a little bit of walking here and there or, or you, you could walk or you can charge three times kind of thing so right so that is good and the uh, so I've got uh, a few more here so I'm just going to lay a turret here turret here turret here and after that I go and uh, look this thing in and a coin group and uh, yep, that's about it. And a run out of charges because I click the button, nothing happens. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is it really. I mean, you know, uh, apply the M78 um, plasma launcher. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much, that's how you play Rocket Raccoon. Rather relaxing. It's a nice balance build, uh, not too hectic on the whole kind of like gameplay perspective. A little bit of cooldown manage on Groot, a little bit of turret positioning, uh, a bit of like uh, burst damage, a bit of defense as well. So that's why I kind of love this build a lot. Um, I hope some of you get to enjoy this build as well. I don't know why <laughs> the UI of the, uh, of the, of the, of the, the other power that used to be old, uh, at the H7 Fleet Slayer is a little bit strange, uh, the way that it's being applied unlike the, uh, the good old days. Uh, hmm. 
Okay, so I'm just going to like uh, get rid of this guy here, um, moving my way through the uh, civilian, and uh, I'm. I think okay. So now okay, I forgot to tell you all that I'm. This is after the biggest system update ever, and I'm still using the uh, pre-update gear. So not kill time is not going to be fantastic. Um, they they keep tuning the game, so I have no idea how well I am doing or how not well I'm doing. Uh, it's kind of interesting that they have uh, removed the, uh, the the mini map uh, that used to be there. Hmm. Yeah, this game it just changes all the time. Sometimes uh, some of these changes, you wonder why they're doing that. Okay, so I'm going to reapply a shield here and the coin the glute and just watch from afar. Rather nice. Yeah, so that's it. A bit of a spinter here. And the, uh, yep, uh, so okay, that's it. So I'm going to fly a little bit, otherwise you get a little bit too, um, too slow. <laughs> I can't, I can't take games that are too slow. Okay, form a nice uh, circle, I mean, nice like a uh, kind of triangle. And uh, that's it, big flocking gun. Alright, so... And uh, one, two, I mean sometimes I lay two, sometimes I lay three because some of these like rather, it take rather long. And try, try not to make it too close to each other uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, try to form the triangle nicely if you can. It's almost like an art, just paint the, paint the stuff here. Alright, so I thought, I thought he was going to charge this way, but he went that side. I have to review the footage and see what, where he was supposed to go. Hmm. All right, so that's it. Okay, so that is done. Uh, I'm wondering if there is a uh, how should I? I mean, I'm, I'm still pretty new to this UI, so I suppose there will be like um, I can't click here because look, look, there's an icon here. You see, I always say that the UI is really lousy. I can't even select <laughs> track whatever I want to track here. Anyhow. Just um, one of those things uh, have to bear with this game. So a lot of things you can just burn it yourself. You don't have to lay it through it all the time if you feel that you have the gun power to do such thing, right? Um, and I mean, all these things I could have skipped as well. I I think there's a bounty because I think they added back in. I hope they've added it back in. But um, so that is the reason why I'm trying to finish off as many as I could to see whether there's a bounty or not. Okay, so now the tracker is out here, so I could like a track. Um, the, 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 I don't know what I'm tracking, man. Region event, maybe. All right, except. All right, defeat curse, bounty hunter. So I think I may have already gotten bounty. So now, notice what I'm going to do with curse. I'm going to lay the turret, uh, triangulate the whole attack. I'm going to lay back a little bit, like watch it uh, burn, kind of like curse. Uh, put in the uh, group as well, you know, whenever I can. And I'm going to use the ultimate towards the very end, just to show you how his ultimate is like in the event whereby you do not know what he's, he play like. So I'm going to get group in. One, two, three. I think I uh, got it a bit too too far, actually. It fails. This fails miserably. So uh, let me just try again. Okay. Two, three. All right. So now I got him in. I don't know why the other one is not like connecting. So usually I got it very nicely triangulated. Um, I don't know why I just didn't get it right. I, I'm obsessed with this. Come on, man, give me a triangle. No, it doesn't link up. Okay. Ah, almost there. So I mean, you know, that is a curse. And uh, well, it looks like I didn't even need to uh, do a do an ultimate. But uh, yeah, I mean, that is how it's like, and uh, if you wonder what his ultimate is like, it's uh, just about, I'm going to show you just a bit. So his ultimate looks something like this one here. Then he'll go into a Mac, and you can just shoot all these things. Now, the important thing to realize is that uh, this one is range area channeled, right? So uh, then you have this one, range gun. So we can do a gun there, and uh, that's it. That's about it. You can do a jump in there as well, right? So you can you can do a lot of like a you know cooldown power kind of thing and uh, jump in there as well. So yeah, 
I uh, hope you enjoy the rocket raccoon. Is I'm uh, I'm almost uh, yeah. So this is buffed by the summer LR damage, by the way. So um, you know, uh, so so that's good. I think was it buffed by summer LR damage? Yes, it was. So I hope you enjoy this part of the video. And um, in next bit, I'm going to share with you the mathematics behind deriving some of these like um, numbers uh, or powers. Uh, in the event whereby you don't like some of these power that I picked, what other powers you could pick as well. All right, so, uh, on to the next bit. So I hope you like the, uh, what you've seen in the Cosmic Terminal and on to the mathematics side of it. Uh, I'm going to share with you some numbers here. Um, a lot of observation when it comes to Rocket Raccoon because the tooltip is not helpful. It will not tell you the attack speed of Groot or you know, the attack speed of the uh, blaster even after the uh, you know, mention of the talent. So you have to do a lot of manual timing and it's just an approximation here. As always, I always uh, look into all the numbers without gear and so on because it, it, you can't compare heroes to hero, especially power to power, with, with all this gear being loaded. But I do have like a target uh, stats I, I'm eyeing on in the event whereby I need to make comparison. Like for example, some power will add 15 10% crit to it. So what does it really mean? Translate compared to the rest of power. Uh, so I need to make sure that I understand. I have to compare apple to apple. Everybody loaded with a certain gear kind of like a target, then compare, then bring it down again. So that's what I do. Um, so basic power only 6k DPS, uh, not surprising, uh, but it's actually pretty high though, it's not that bad to be honest. Uh, big farting gun after it's been augmented by upgrade, the big gun will be 11.8k. Um, so it is still better than the heavy plasma rifle, but like I said, I mean, you know, at the end game, this target may get tossed out the window because as you gear higher and higher, this one will outperform the, uh, the big fucking gun, that's how I would see it. Uh, mini gun is just way off, man. I mean, 16k. I mean, even Invisible Woman is only 11k. I think um, Angela is only 11k. So it's uh, I don't know what happened there, but I uh, I it's just for my information, in a sense, you know, if they want to keep it that way. I mean, yes. I mean, you need you do need you do need to build it up, but then he has a pretty high kind of attack speed as well. So it's rather easy to build up to a 40% kind of uh, thing. Um, yep, 40%. So anyway. Uh, so that is one thing there. The other one is that uh, the layer itself, M78 Plasma Launcher, um, is a decent layer, 3.35k, uh, or you can add the burn here. It could be quite interesting if you add burn, uh, can gears, target versus burn, you know, kind of like damage versus burn kind of thing. Uh, H7 Fleet Slayer itself is not that fantastic, but if you augment it with the Upgraded Fleet Slayer is a rather nice, decent, close to 4k DPS, so that's nice. But like I said, Heavy Gauss is the one of the best, the uh, 5k to 6k kind of like a DPS. So, but then the other one, uh, the M78 Plasma Lounger is the one that you could uh, lay two layers. All right, so that's how they balance the game. My friend, my friend Groot on his own uh, is all right, 72. So you can do like. Um, Assuming one, okay, so assuming group hit one per second kind of thing, and also there's uh, that I, I put in the range of branches with a 10 second cooldown to it, so that is the the on its own. But once you, or you could say, I do not want, I do not need the range of branches because it cannot like keep spamming the power, but the group will just passively appear whenever I hit something. Then you sacrifice on this rain of branches DPS and you end up with 5.9k, which is still not bad actually. It's pretty nice decent layer as well. So even for guns hero, I th would think that you need the group there somehow. Uh, then Warpath is the one that you ride onto the uh, the group and then you shoot all the bullets and stuff like that, but it's eight second well, it's like a, it's a, you know there's an eight second of firing besides animation. So it's quite a lot of Quite a lot of animation there, so I, I'm not quite sure um, if this justify the um, the whole thing as well. So, you know, uh, eight seconds of channeling, or you could actually build him with uh, with a you know my friend Groot, which is the I am Groot kind of uh, talent augmentation, fantastic, wonderful. So he's one strong pet that you have, very strong, very durable. From a blaster tour perspective, you can you can see yourself uh, with. The vanilla version is 2.6, after that upgraded plasma rifle a bit up. But uh, if with the upgraded uh, kind of like Fleet Slayer, uh, which will have the extra tool and so on, of course you get a lot stronger in a sense. Um, then you could also 
target to upgrade with the Gauss rifle, but I choose something else, which is a big fucking gun, I think. Uh, so, yes. Big fucking gun. Where is it? Right, so that is the. Um, ah, sorry, it's the one up there. Four. Right, this is five. So, this couple of things that you could. Oh man, you have to pick one of these guys here. So, this is the one that I, 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 I think I picked back in the, uh, the video itself. Right, so five, upgraded Fleet Slayer. All right, so that is the, I mean, you have to make some choices here for all your tour and so on. Or you could uh, have the Grunai as well, Gravity Mine as your layer. It's not that great layer though. It's all right, it's all right, but it's not that great. Uh, but I guess it has its purpose because it has a vulnerability buff that further buff all the rest of power by 10%. So it has its purpose as well, all right? Uh, time Rock. Uh, turret on its own is not great, uh, self-destruct, but uh, use it as a damage over time is a very, very decent layer. So on the raid, you know, you may even consider using a time warp instead of a light, uh, instead of the uh, the other one. Um, so it's some options for you to think about, uh, and the well, the signature is as, as I said, is pretty low, right? Yeah. And the suppression is uh, suppression is also pretty high actually. Think about it. But this one is with the lightning wall. Um, so, you know, these two are rather similar. If you don't want to deal with the lightning war, then you can have the time war tour as well. Entirely a choice. And how many tour you can have is depend on how many can, can you manage. So I hope uh, you've got some idea, some, some picture that you... Uh, I know it's a, a lot of information there, but at the end of the day, I would strongly advise you to pick a build that you enjoy playing. If you like a lot of turret, of course, a three type of turret, a no brainer, all will be in your toolbar, but you do not, you do nothing but laying turrets a lot of time, just controlling group. But you find it a little bit too laid back, uh, you want to go all commando and go gun, then yeah, you can do that too. A lot of cooldown power for your play around. Mine is more balanced. Uh, mine just like to enjoy, but yet not too boring. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, do let me know your thoughts. Uh, always welcome a healthy discussion here in my YouTube channel and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.